Hello, this video provides an introduction to the Cravat Mutation Analysis Package. Cravat was developed by the Karchin Lab at Johns Hopkins in collaboration with Insilico Solutions and funded by the National Cancer Institute's ITCR program. Cravat is capable of analyzing very large sets of genomic variant data and assists researchers in identifying potentially interesting mutations. Cravat is designed to be used by medical researchers conducting genomic studies and does not require that users have a background in bioinformatics or biostatistics. A study may include a single sample, a cohort, or an aggregated list of distinct variants. The types of variants it analyzes include single base substitutions, single or multibase deletions, and single or multibase insertions. Cravat analysis results include scores, annotations, and visualizations that assist in identifying and exploring important variants. The tool currently focuses on the protein impact of variants and is a good match for exome sequencing studies, but in the future will include more non-coding variant annotation. In addition to medical researchers, Cravat also supports bioinformatics professionals. We provide several programmatic methods of performing analysis and integrating our results with bioinformatics pipelines. Cravat is an open source web-based service available at cravat.us and is free for government or academic use. Although not required, we recommend setting up a login to get access to our interactive results browser. We support several different input formats including the commonly used VCF format that is generally available from sequencing centers. Simply provide an input file, select the type of analysis you would like, and hit Submit. The My Jobs tab is then available to track all of your submitted jobs. Here you can see all of your jobs, including previously completed jobs and the currently running job that we just submitted. Running jobs display progress information, and after a job completes, you can click on a download link to get the spreadsheet or text file version of the results. We recommend, though, that you select the icon here to review the results of this job in our interactive results browser. The results browser contains a summary tab with a graphical display of study overview data. The summary widgets show a breakdown of the variance by type of protein impact and a circus plot of the genomic distribution of mutations in the study. Also included are a breakdown of variance per sample and a list of genes with high mutation frequency. Finally, the Summary tab performs an enrichment search to locate and display gene pathways with statistically significant mutation rates. The Variant tab of the Interactive Browser provides a sorted, filtered, configurable display for exploring individual variants. Variants are scored by machine learning algorithms VEST, trained to identify pathogenic variants, and or CASM, trained to identify cancer driver variants. By default, the results will be sorted by VEST or CASM p-value to put predicted deleterious mutations at the top of the list. Users can, however, sort by any column by clicking on its header, or use speed filters here and here, and can customize which columns of information are displayed. By clicking on a variant, a panel of information about the variant is displayed. The Variant Information panel can be expanded to provide even more detailed data. This panel includes a lollipop diagram indicating the position of the mutation in the protein. It includes scores for each gene transcript. A single variant can have different protein impacts on alternate transcript isoforms. The panel also provides population frequency for the variant broken down by ethnicity. And finally, a section of cancer-specific annotations is displayed, including cosmic occurrence totals by tissue of origin and literature associations with cancer. The Interactive Results Browser also includes a gene tab that summarizes mutation by gene. Each row provides aggregate gene level information like the total number of variants on the gene, and a side panel lists the observed variants for each gene. Below, the Gene Info panel shows summary information like a composite gene level score and a protein diagram with the position of each variant and associated uniprot functional annotations. The gene panel can also be used to access our 3D structure viewer Muppet. Muppet shows the position of mutations in a 3D structure 
that can pan, rotate, and zoom. Mutations that are not close to each other in, on the linear protein sequence may actually form a tight cluster of mutations in the folded protein. Muppet also shows many annotations on the structure to provide additional context, such as our cancer hot regions computed from TCGA data, or uniprot functional annotations, like this region of interest that affects interaction with ERB-B3. In addition to the Cravat website, there are several other methods available to utilize Cravat services. We have a Galaxy tool that performs fast annotation of variants from within the Galaxy framework. We've also packaged the entire Cravat Muppet system into a Docker image. The Docker image allows individuals to set up their own local instance of Cravat or run Cravat on a cloud platform. This is particularly useful to investigators with protected data. Finally, we have a programmatic interface for submitting jobs, annotating variants, and linking to our visualizations. Thank you for your attention. Please give it a try and let us know what you think.